Hey, what's up? This is Scott Talensky with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is getting started with a very basic project using Parcel and Jest. Now in this video, we're not going to be testing any React specifically. We're just going to be testing JavaScript and it's not even going to be a real test. We're basically just getting set up. We write some boilerplate code and we should see a test pass by the end of this video. It should give you a little bit of an idea of what Jest itself is doing inside of our project. So let's get going on that right now. So in this series, what we're going to be doing is diving into testing concepts and we're going to be spending most of the time in testing React because there's a lot here. And I want to make sure that we do this in a way that is both modern and totally approachable, especially if you've never done any sort of testing. After all, testing can be one of these things that is really intimidating. And if you run into an issue somewhere, it might just be the end of you testing for that time. I remember running into an issue when I was first learning how to test. I couldn't figure out a basic sort of how to get this done. And then I quit testing for a while after that. And, and that's just a frustrating place to be. So the goal of this course is going to be to have a gentle introduction into not only React and JavaScript testing, but a lot of the syntaxy jargony concepts behind this whole thing. And we're going to make this feel very nice. Uh, the, really, the goal here is even if you just picked up React for the first time, we're going to have a testing solution for you that's going to get you understanding testing, but React testing specifically. So to get started, I do want to cover some basic testing concepts. And for this, we're going to be using a package called Jest, of which I can go into more later. So let's go ahead. And what we want to do is start with this repo. Now, you can just use the code if you've downloaded the code examples uh, from this project, or you can go ahead to the Level Up Tutorials GitHub. I'll have this link available. This is from a series I did, JavaScript Testing 101, as a brief series. Uh, but what we have here is a basic repo, and we're going to use this as a jumping off point to explore some concepts with Jest and JavaScript testing overall before we start actually testing React components. So to get started here, what we want to do is you can head to Git clone, you can grab this link, we can copy it, and we can come to our Git terminal and we can do git clone and then this repo. Now, if you don't use Git or you're not familiar with Git, you can also just download this. I recommend uh, learning the basics of Git where you can at least run some of these basic commands, git clone, uh, git add, git commit, that sort of stuff. But you don't have to be a git master or anything to complete the series. And for the most part, this is the most that we're going to be working with Git. But if we do git clone on this repo, it's going to go ahead and download this whole repo. Now this repo uses Parcel, and if you haven't used Parcel, it's an excellent way to bundle up your code and get it working, especially in a development environment. It works uh, very, very easily. You don't have to write any config files. So it's perfect for this. What we can do is then change directories into level up JavaScript testing 101, and we can then run the npm commands where we can do npm install. And then we can just do npm test. Now, before we do npm test, let's actually open this up in my text editor. I'm going to be using VS code for this. And you'll see in a minute here, I'll go over my theme and some of the stuff we're actually using. I get these questions every time. So I want to make sure that we're all good here. So you can see our applications getting up and running. Okay, so this is good. Let's go ahead and open up this folder in my text editor. And so what we have here is I'm using the level up to electric boogaloo theme that comes in the level up official theme package. There's the level up theme package that includes two themes. And then we, if you enable your theme, you could do color theme and you can see it's level up to electric boogaloo. That gives us this like a little bit of more contrasty, uh, lighter version of the level up theme that I've been using, really enjoying. And so let's dive into this project a little bit. If we head into our package.json file, you can see that we do have a start command, which just points to our index.html. And we have a test command, which just runs at just hyphen hyphen watch all. Now I'm certainly going to dive into more of Jest itself, Jest commands, what's going on here. Let's talk a little bit briefly about this project in Parcel. You can see the dependencies are very small. We just have Babel presets, Jest, and then Parcel bundler. Now inside of here, you can see that all we're telling it to do is watch index.html. And if we head to index.html, it's just importing this index script. And that lives inside of our source folder right here where we have index.js. Now I'm also importing an app.js, which is entirely empty, and we have an app.test.js. 
Okay, this is going to allow us to write some stuff in here and test it. And you'll be able to get some flow about what's going on with testing. Now, if we want to see this application up and running, uh, you can certainly do that just by doing npm run, and then I believe it's start. And then you can also probably just type npm start. And if we get here, we get a local host running at one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and just fire this up in the browser and you should be able to see a basic testing 101. Now, for the most part, we're going to disassociate ourselves from this sort of browser environment that we're used to. And it's, it can be a scary thing for a lot of developers who primarily spend their time working on something and then seeing if it works, right? And seeing it in this visual capacity. And we're going to be spending a lot of time in the code and we're going to be spending a lot of time in our test runners, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the other command that we have here, which is just watch all. We have our package.json and our test script is just hyphen hyphen watch all. Now with testing runners, a test runner is something that goes and runs your test. Now just does that for us. Now we have to tell it whether or not we want to watch our files continuously for when they update, like a, a SAS compiler or something like that or if we want it to only run our tests once. Now, you might be thinking, well, if I'm testing, like, don't I want it to just watch? Well, in some situations, let's say you have your code that's going to be deployed on a specific instance, right? Let's say you have a, a checker that checks to make sure all of your tests pass before your code is deployed. Now, there's a lot of services like this that do this kind of thing for you. I use one myself. And in that case, you're only going to want your tests to run once, right? So just gives you the option of really configuring your stuff. Now, I'm not going to dive too much into just itself in this video because, well, I'm going to take the time to talk a little bit more about just in the next video. But well, let's go ahead and see something in action here. Let's head to our command line and let's hold a new tab. And I'm going to make sure I'm in the same directory and I can do npm test. Notice how we don't have to do run. Uh, test is sort of a default command. If we had the command name something else, um, what you'll see here is that we do get a test suite failed. Now what's up with that? We didn't write any tests. How can we have a failing test if we didn't have any tests written? Well, by default, when it watches for test, it's going to look for any file that's named dot test dot js. So just is automatically going to be looking for these dot test files. And what happens right now is it sees that there's a test file and it says, Hey, there's got to be some tests in here. And then when it goes to run them, well, if we scroll up, your test suite must contain at least one test. So obviously the problem here is that we haven't run any tests. Now, if we'd like to go ahead and prevent this from just giving us an error for no reason, what we can do is write a function where we can say test like this. And you could just basically have an arrow function inside of here as a callback. Okay. And this test function test first needs a name. So we can say fake test like this. So we're going to be naming our first test fake test. And then inside of this arrow function is going to be the test itself. Now, again, do not worry about the syntax yet because we're going to be diving all into this. Okay. What we simply want to do is we're going to say expect, and then we can say true. And then this is a function that takes tr true or Boolean or anything as a value. And we can say dot as a method to P and then you see, we have all these options. Now we're just going to select to be truthy. Okay. And let's just save this. Now, if we check back to our test runner, we're going to see something that is really exciting when you're running tests. It's a bunch of green. And in particular, you get a green checkbox. You get a fake test here. It says, Hey, your fake test took seven milliseconds to run and it passed. Well, our test is just saying, Hey, we're expecting true to be truthy, <laughs> which obviously is not necessarily that intense of a test, but I mean, congratulations, you've technically written your first test. And if you're wondering what the heck is the point of this, well, the point of this right now is to get these tests to pass. And the point is, is that, well, this is kind of the flow that we're going to be working with over the next few videos. We're going to have a test. It's going to have a name.
And then we're going to in expect some things. These expects are called assertions, as in you're asserting that something is some way, okay? So that's your first little jargony bit of the day is an assertion, okay? Now you'll occasionally hear me say things like assertions in this series. Anytime I come across a word that is jargony, I'm going to make sure that it is properly defined. I don't want to assume that you know any of these words because there's a whole lot of syntaxy words or jargony words involved in testing. Okay, so check it out. We now have this basic app up and running. And even though we have a basic test in here, it's simply just a test function with a callback that expects true to be truthy. It's still a working passing test. So fire up the next videos, we talk quite a bit more about Jest. For instance, we blew past a ton of stuff when we wrote this code. You have no idea what test means, you have no idea what expect means, or to be truthy, or where any of this stuff is coming from. So we're gonna break down what Jest is doing for you exactly, all of the little things that you may have heard from other test runners and testing libraries, and where this all fits in, in accordance to what you may or may not know about testing overall. Then we're actually gonna start writing some code, writing some tests, getting into it and then understanding things a little bit more. And then the next thing you know, we are going to be writing tests that are going to be testing our React components, talking about best practices, talking about libraries and tools, and talking about things that will make your life easy for testing. Because honestly, no one wants to spend a ton of time testing, writing difficult tests, when in fact, you just want to make sure your code works. So we'll also be talking quite a bit about why tests are important and what sort of situations that a uh, test makes sense and how to properly test things. So get ready for what I think is a very exciting series on a topic that can typically not be that exciting. So hopefully we're gonna make this fun and get through and you're gonna be having a really great handle on testing. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.